What if we could predict the end of the world? Would we know how to save it? What if we had the tools to avert disaster? Would we know how to use them? In 1992, 1,700 scientists, many of them Nobel laureates, issued a warning to humanity. Either change the way you treat the environment, or catastrophic consequences will follow. Since then, we have learned that yes, we can predict the end of the world, but no, we don't know how to save it. My research will not solve climate change. It will not stabilize the economy, nor will it prevent the next viral outbreak. My research tells us that we have the tools to solve such problems, but we don't yet know how to use them. In my work, I look at tools such as media in search of patterns. And from film to television, radio to web, I have found each medium has a buffer, a delay between cause and effect. This delay is just long enough to convince us that the future is something that happens to us. And so as readers, we receive news of the oil spill. And as listeners, we are told of the rising unemployment rate. And as observers, we watch the ice caps melt. We consume this news like a diet of overprocessed food. It has left us feeling powerless and weak. And so it's no wonder that two decades after that warning to humanity, we still seem destined for that predicted disaster. But what those 1,700 very intelligent men and women fail to realize is that on a global scale, problem solving is not merely hard facts and strong evidence. It requires motivation, mobilization, and engagement. These are skills, and they have to be learned. The buffer teaches us how to wait, how to react, how to rebuild. But if we were to outpace the speed of a collapsing economy, and if we were to outrun the rate of carbon emissions, we need new metaphors. Metaphors where we are the producers of our future and not the consumers of our present. Through my work, I produce games that separate causes from effects. I create websites that enable users to find patterns in the news. I develop media that teach us how to be active, engaged individuals. In contrast with the buffer, the metaphor here argues that time flows forward. The future is not something that happens to us. It is something that we build. And by teaching this, we learn how to build a better future. Thank you.